Hey everyone, Remsen411SB here, back with more interactive let's playing action in Armor Core 4 Answer! Uh, last time you had to choose another mission, I'll get to that in a bit. Uh, but for this next mission, and for today's little lesson on uh, designing nexts, I'm going to be talking about the two things. One is the heart and core of your machine, the generator. So, um, I'm going to be buying a new generator. The new generator I'm going to be buying is this GN Judith. Uh, so basically, I'm going to go through these little things here. Okay, so here's my GN Judith. All my stats, all the stats I currently have are on the left. Blue is a good increase, red is bad, of course. Uh, so overall, the main things you actually want to care about uh, when you're buying a generator is the energy output and the KP output. Those you want to be as high as possible because those are what are giving you the recharge. Those are your recharge rates with your energy and your uh, output and everything. You can. Uh, your capacity, you just want kind of high, but it's not the key point, because you want to be able to regenerate as much energy as fast as you can. Um, overall, this thing is just flat out better than my current generator, in my honest opinion. It has a, a pretty substantial decrease in the capacity and the uh, boost duration, but overall, the average speed is faster, the energy recovery rate is a lot faster. It, it's, yeah, it's just all out better, in my opinion. Those are the... Everything else here you kind of want to worry about somewhat, like uh, the boost duration. Yeah, you're going to be boosting a little bit less on like your overboost, but still. Right, does that affect overboost, or is that just the other the uh, quick boost? It might just be the quick boost, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to be buying this Judith. It's going to be the most expensive thing I've bought so far at almost 500 grand, and I hit B. Yay. Um, the other thing we are going to look at here is your overboost. Now, there's two variations of overboost. And uh, for this one, I'm also going to be buying a new one. And uh, the two I'm going to focus on right now for the differentiating is the Ju uh, is the KRB Judith, which is a light assault overboost, and the KB Judith, which is a, just a light. Now, if it says assault, you can instantly know that it is an assault armor. And remember that assault armor is something I've never used, really. It's that big, huge explosion that comes out of your, uh... It's the big, huge explosion thing we jiggy from you. If you go back to the tutorial, you can see it. It's the last thing we do in the tutorial in part one. It's basically the massive ex explosion all around you. But, uh, if you get one with an assault armor, you can immediately... Pr uh, you can immediately throw out, like, at least 40% of your overboost. Like, your overboost, it, it, that's how much it takes out the assault with the assault armor. So, um, the current one we have on has an assault armor, uh, but if I go up one, you can see that we gain, okay, it's not quite 40. It's not quite 40, okay, but still, it's, it's a lot. It, actually, it might almost be 40. I don't know. It's 30? 35? 33? Somewhere around there? I don't know. We gain, we gain almost 20,000, uh, points towards the overboost thrust. <laughs> Yeah, we're it, we're we're great. We're gaining twenty thousand in both the the initial activation speed and the general speed while it's going. All the costs, except for the activation, the initial activation, are less, so it's going to last a lot longer. Energy recovery rate is higher. Uh, average speed is higher. Boost duration is higher, which is going to kind of kind of counteract it. Doesn't really affected about that much but as you can see if you have an assault armor on you and you are going to lose a lot of speed like yeah you know, uh, if you have an assault armor you're going to lose a lot of speed yeah i said that right so um overall i rarely use the assault armor as you've seen i've never even considered using it in any of the uh levels we've done so far today's level i could say you you could use it in but again if you use it you're getting rid of your primal armor for a bit and that leaves you very vulnerable to like basic attacks, and you'll lose a lot of health if you don't if you're not careful. So uh, yeah, I'm actually going to get rid of the assault armor I have on. Those are going to be my two new upgrades. So I just spent a lot of money, but I think it's well worth it in the end. And uh, I just missed it. Yeah, even though these are light generators, these are very good generators. Uh, the ge these are both light equipment. They are very good. Um, so yeah, these are my new stats, you can see, uh, energy output's decent, uh, where's that? Okay, yeah, the overboost is quite high now, I, I like that. I use overboost a lot more. Uh, for this next mission, uh, I have no idea why this is saying R. Uh, let's try doing this. Yeah, okay, there, it's gone. 
Good. I had no idea why that was saying R. <laughs> Seriously, I have no idea why I was saying R. I went and looked in the key guide. I looked in the help. Like, here's the key guide. Apparently, while well, doing that, I learned that if you push the left stick down, you can switch all these menus. Okay, we still don't have any FRS memory from anything, so I don't need to deal with that anymore. Stabilizing. Oh, I'm still 0-0. Zero, zero. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we're just going in with the same weapons we have. Um, you could use blades in this next level, but again, I, I don't like using blades just because you deal you get a lot of damage taken to yourself when you're actually getting in close, and I don't like doing that, to be honest. Uh, but anyways, all that learning aside, and half this episode done... <laughs> Uh, we're going to the uh, choices here, the three options we had. Okay, so coming in third, with 20% of the votes, support the Red Beret Assault. So, you do not want me to protect trucks. That's nice. And in second place, with 25% of the votes, it's Ambush Sphere Invasion Forces. So, we are doing Attack on B7, which got 55% of the votes, and I could pretty much say that probably about 40 a 40 of that 55 is probably pity votes, because it was there from the start. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Okay, here's the mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. The objective is to destroy the defenses at Taurus Corporation's B7 deep mining facility. The main enemy force consists of normals and autonomous drones. Depending on how many of them there are, they should be no problem for a next. The automated defense systems will try to close the external barricades. You have permission from the client to destroy them. This shouldn't damage the facility itself. Breathing over. This is an excellent opportunity for you to strengthen ties with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, right? Alrighty, here we go! Uh, for this mission, I recommend you just use your lasers, because it's gonna be a lot of nexts. There's MTs, sorry. And, uh, you can just, uh... Yay! They're being wary of us! Yeah, you just have to go forward, destroy everything in sight. Uh, I recommend just using your, uh, main guns, because all these things will die pretty quickly to it. None of them really have primal armor. You can even- whoa, hello. I missed somebody. Oh, hello. None of these guys have primal armor, so you can eat through them pretty well, pretty quickly. Did I just jump? That's cool. Uh, we need to blast through the door. What? Oh, come on. There we go. And... Oh, hello. Uh, if you get too close to these guys, they might pull out swords on you, so just be careful on that. I think some of these guys have swords. Uh, anyways, this is actually a pretty short, quick mission. Uh, oh, hello. I forgot this guy's came out. Whoa, hello. Half the, have been Half the targets are already gone. That's nice. Yoink. Ah, uh, let's switch to our chain guns for a bit. How about that? Is there anything we can actually get? Oh, it's two doors. Uh, here you can choose either way. I'm gonna go forward first. You have to go both ways anyway, but... Uh, it seems like it's overpowered. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, I'm being shot. By what? What was I being shot by? Oh, okay, there's guns over there, but... Apparently we were able to see through the wall. Uh, if you want, you can take regular guns into this. All, all there's... What the hell? Are they just stuck in, like, the wall? Um, real, regular old rifles and such would be pretty good in this one, just because nothing has primal armor, and these laser weapons are more designed to fight against things with primal armor, but... They're still pretty powerful, and they're actually taking out every, almost everything here in a couple, only a very few shots, so... Uh, yeah, by the way, uh, once you finish off all taking out most of these guys, there's going to be reinforcements coming in. That's what the issue is just saying. Um, yeah, so you have to make sure you take out everything along the way. It's, it's, it's a kind of a dull mission, in my opinion, but... 
You guys wanted it. It's not even doesn't even get you a lot of money. Let's get out of here. Using our new overboost. Nero. Okay, so here, if you look up, the guy should be coming up pretty soon. Let's go up and meet them. Oh, we're actually almost out of ammo with our gun here. Ah, sucks to be all of them. I even got to ambush them in the tunnel here. Oh, that was kind of dull. <laughs> oh, well. Yay, S rank. Woo. Yay. I think it's always a good mission when you use more ammo, when you lose more money to ammo than you do to repair. I call that a successful mission. Okay, so we have three new, or three missions to choose from. One new, and once again, several returning. Uh, so, we're going to go through these again. Uh, the first one up here is Ambush Sphere Invasion Forces. Um, this one, you are assaulting an attacking force from behind on a VOB, or a Vanguard Overboost. And uh, on the way there, you're going to destroy as much as you can. And then once you reach the base that they're attacking, you uh, jettison the GVOB there, turn around, and you destroy everything you didn't get on the way there. Um, support the Red Beret Assault is the uh, is a mission where you just uh, you're supposed to escort a series of trucks through a canyon. There's going to be several paths to take. You just need to clear one of the paths. The trucks will take it. And uh, yeah, uh, some paths are longer than the others. And uh, basically, that's the gist of it. The more trucks you save, the, the more money you get. And the new one, if I can actually get over there, is Clear, uh, clear Former Chinese Shanghai. Uh, this mission is going to be the first instance of a mission where you can actually pay another next to assist you in the mission. Uh, so you'll have a, a choice of three different uh, other links and their ACs. Uh, so if they're going to be different ranks, uh, this one I believe you actually get the rank one colored, the colored rank one, the best machine in the colored ranks. Um, if you uh, want to shell out that much money, uh, depending on what rank you go for, you're spending more money. But in this one, you basically just go through Shanghai. There's going to be several different uh, nexts and other associate assorted uh, machines around. You just need to destroy everything. That's basically what it is. Um, but yeah, it's a, basically there's a fleet, a bunch of ships, a bunch of nexts, uh, all docked on these buildings and surrounding ports and everything. Yeah, in this area. And you just need to go and destroy them all. Uh, but yeah, you get you can actually pay somebody to help you out with that one if you want. Yeah, so those are your three choices this time. You can have Sphere, Red Beret, or Chinese Shanghai. Which one should I use? Let's put Shanghai there. Put Shanghai if you want Shanghai. Um, also, if any of you noticed, yay. If any of you get the reference, yay. Key, it is below this menu. Oh, fine, it's Mega Doomer. I changed the Armor Core name, and I couldn't figure out anything. I liter literally, I went online, I couldn't think of a name, so I went on to find some ma name generators, and uh, I eventually found some Mech Warrior ones. Like, I couldn't find anything for Armored Core. I went with Mech Warrior, and then it showed up to Gundam, and all those names. I didn't like any of them, and then I looked over, and I saw, me and then I, I thought of Invader Zim, and I went with Mega Doomer. Yes, I went with I went there. I like the name. <laughs> anyway, see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, remember Sphere, uh, Red, or Shanghai. Have a good one, guys.